Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. My name is Dirita YouTube. I welcome you to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, yes, I am the guy that with his family sold literally everything he owned four years ago, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now coming to you from Lagos in Portugal. Today, not walking the beach, but walking the backyard of my house where there is a beautiful forest and some nature. A short video talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Two really cool Bitcoin charts that you really need to see. Also taking a look at the news, of course, because why is Trump now being deleted from Twitter? Why you should huddle Bitcoins to avoid to pay taxes and which huge rappers in the industry are now buying Bitcoin. All of this in this new video today, wearing this beautiful Prime XBT swag hoodie and hat that it received for Christmas a little bit late but you know the postal service in Portugal is not always on time thank you Prime XBT for sending me my Christmas present I will proudly wear this beautiful hoodie because it's getting a poco frio here in Portugal enjoy today's video guys BAM with the part where I bombed you with really cool charts, the Bitcoin TA part, this part, BAM! The first chart today is a BAM chart, huh? Two times BAM? Yes. Let's open with the BAM chart. Let's open with a chart that shows you the result we made with trading yesterday by using a DD BAM BAM indicator. This chart, BAM, a little BAM this time. Maybe we can, ah, the voice is not like uh, perfect at the moment. Maybe a little bit too much alcohol because of celebrating. Every all-time high Bitcoin is making every day again. I need to drink a glass of whiskey. That's why I'm hiding my eyes in the shadow of this cap, Prime with T cap, because I don't want you to see that I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> but on the BAM chart, yeah, you can see we traded again with 1% of the Bitcoin price. That's now $400 nowadays. That's a huge number. We were used to trade with $200. Now we are trading with $400 with a leverage of thin. Yes, I traded on <clears throat> Sorry, Prime Equity, but yesterday I traded on Bybit because I needed to use the trailing stop loss. Of course, I always copy trade on Prime XBT, so I'm always trading on Prime XBT, but for the short term trades, I trade on Bybit as well because I want to use the trailing stop loss, and that one is not yet available on Prime XBT. I don't even know if Prime XBT will make this one available. Um, just to make you very clear, I trade on multiple accounts Prime XBT, Bybit, Dudex, Binance, Qcoin, I trade all of them and the DJI is getting dark again. Yes, because we are walking in the forest. Why is it so dark? C can it just, yeah, now it's adjusting a little bit. Okay, that's better. So I trade every exchange because I have some Bitcoins here. I hold all my Bitcoins there. I hold all my Bitcoins fucking everywhere. Just like the Bam Bam song that Laura Olivas created two weeks ago. That is in our lyrics. I hold all my Bitcoins here. I hold all my Bitcoins there. I hold all my Bitcoins fucking everywhere. I don't have a reason. I don't have a plan. But I do know I will never change to fiat again. Bam! The first trade was along, we made 73% profit, that turned the $400 into $696, I think. Then we got a whole area of choppy movements of Bitcoin, where I was not confident to enter a trade, because it was not a triple confirmation to go long or short, so I left that period, I didn't trade. Then at, I think it was 3.30 in the afternoon, it was in the afternoon, after 3 o'clock, then I did another long. This long created 22% profit, which created a beautiful amount of 850 US dollar. That was followed up by a short, I think that one was 33% profit, which created a more beautiful amount of 1130 US dollar. Then again, we got this choppy area where there was no confirmation in going long or short. Yes, there was one signal saying long or short. There were some flags, 
but there was no confirmation so we didn't take those trades and in the evening we did again a long and this long created an end result of almost 1600 us dollar in a day trading by just trading four times using the bam bam indicator signal when to long and to short the market and like you can see on the chart we could have long and short many more times but we don't take every trade because there is no confirmation we want to see some confirmations that it really is a short or a long and then we are confident to take the trade if you want to know more about the bam bam indicator visit our discord server the link is down below or visit ddbam.com where you can sign up in a form three fields you need to fill you will receive an email with all the information about the bam bam indicator and how to buy it how to use it etc etc but let's take a look at bitcoin why that bitcoin is being rejected at 42,000 us dollar or 40,000 us dollar every time again because you can see this on this map on this heat chart this one bam on this heat chart you can see that there are sell orders every time around the 42,000 US dollar and around 40,000 US dollar. So every time we try to break 40,000 US dollar or 42,000 US dollar, we fall back with 10% or a little bit more. Because at that point, all the whales are selling their bitcoins. The stranger thing is that they are also buying back the bitcoins at around 37,000 US dollar. So they are playing the market. They are playing the range. This means sell at the top, buy back a little bit cheaper, sell at the top, buy back a little bit cheaper. And this is how the whales and all... Wow. Shit. I, I just... I thought somebody passed by. What? That's strange. That must be a ghost or something. But this is how the whales multiply their bitcoins. This is what people refer to as trading. <laughs> and trading should result in multiplying your bitcoins and this is the game the whales are playing and also bots are trading the same these bots are trading in the range let's take a look at this chart you can see i think that the bots are trading in this range bam on this chart we place the fibonacci level and then i can show you that we are probably trading in this range with the fibonacci level so we are probably selling on the top over here the bots buying back there selling over there buying back there and this is the range probably they calculated by using the fibonacci retracement level i think you never know it's just like a guess i don't know for sure but you know a lot of trading in this industry is be is because of the bots and they need to have some kind of uh, programmability inside a bot they need to assign levels to the bot when to sell and when to buy so i think they will use a calculation like the fibonacci level to um to set up those bots. Just an idea. Ah, uh, DJI, 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 maybe like this? Yeah, this is more light. Okay, I will walk that way because then the DJI gives me a lot better light. This chart, bam, shows you that the peak of 2017, 20K, now starts to look like a bump. Even better if we take this chart, bam, that was very fast, bump, chart, chart, this chart, <laughs> you can see that the peak of 2017, will turn into that small bump that you see to the left of the 2017 bull run. That was the 2013 bull run. There was a time that the 2013 bull run looked like a huge run. And now this 2070 bull run looked like a huge run. But now the bull run of 2021 is making 2017 look like a small bump again just like 2017 made 2013 look like a small bump 2013 you can almost not see anymore on the chart 2017 you can clearly see yet but i think at the end of this bull run 2017 will look like 2013 looks now that is what we call a bull run that is what we call zooming out bam also a really cool chart is this one guys this was created by charts btc yes i share a lot of charts of charts btc because i love the way he simplifies the charts this is a yearly candle chart this one bam and you can see that we just opened a new yearly candle the 2021 candle and i think that this candle of 2021 will look like the candle in 2017 and 2017 was the third green candle after a bearish year and this third green candle in 2017 was the largest of all those green candles after the bear time in 2014 
And now, I think 2018 was the bear time, 2019 was the first green candle, 2020 was the second green candle, and 2021 will be the third green candle, which will be the largest green candle of them all if we repeat history. In 2020, guys, we opened around 7,000 US dollar and we ended around 28,000 US dollar. So in 2020, it was already a small bull run times four if you started in January. Now, 2021, we are opening around 28,000 US dollar and at the moment we are already around 40,000 US dollar. So that's almost a 40% run already and we are just getting started. It's the first week of 21 and we already have a 40% result. The question now, of course, is where will this end? If we would repeat history, the same percentage of growth like we had in 2017, that was a 1300 percentage of growth. I don't think we will see a 1300% of growth because the bull run before we had a 5000% growth, 2017 a 1300% growth. So let's divide it by four again and let's have a 300% growth from here. Then we will still see the 100,000 US dollar price in Bitcoin like the stock to flow model has been showing us all the time. So yes, 100k this year is easy achievable if we repeat history and if we do a little bit better we do a 400 percent run and then we will end up around 160,000 us dollar and if we do much better we will have a 500 percent run and we will end around 200 us thousand us dollar and if we do even better we will have a 600 percent run and we will end around 240,000 us dollar or even maybe guys if we do a 800 percent run at 300,000 us dollar we don't know yet but it's really cool to see what happened in the past and to take that past result, paste it on 2021 and guess where we could end up. Even if we only end up at 80K or 60K or let's be honest, even if we end up around 50K, I am already a very happy man because that means that Bitcoin is there to stay. It has been changing the world already and it's going to change the world way more than we now can imagine. We can't even think of the possibilities that a Bitcoin and blockchain is going to create for us in the next 10 years. The same way we couldn't think what the internet was going to change for us in the next 10 years from 1990. We didn't know that we would be walking around with an iPhone, watching Netflix, making videos, uploading videos, doing TikToks that time. We know now what we didn't know at the beginning of the internet. And we know now what the blockchain can do now and what Bitcoin can do now. And we will never be able to guess what Bitcoin and blockchain will be able to do in the next 10 years. And that is the cool part of this evolution and this revolution of the monetary system, the revolution of money, the revolution of technology. This is going to take life to a new level and that is very exciting. This is an adventure. Don't fear new things, embrace them and live the adventure. BAM! Let's jump into the news part, the part where I bomb you with the news that I read this morning late. I got up late, I admit I drank too much, but I read this morning during a delicious cup of coffee, this part, BAM! The first item, I'm going to teach you how to save on paying taxes. Huh? Did he? That's illegal, no? It is illegal if you don't pay taxes. It is not illegal to avoid paying taxes. And it is also not illegal to minimize, to minimize the amount on taxes you need to pay. So I'm going to teach you how you could very easily minimize the amount of taxes you will pay. Sell everything you have. Go all into Bitcoin. And hold it for over a year. Because if you huddle Bitcoins for over a year in many countries like Germany, uh, for example, then it's tax free in Germany. If you just huddle the Bitcoins for longer than a year, you don't pay taxes. I think in the United States, if you huddle the Bitcoins longer than a year, you um, like only need to pay half of the taxes. So there will be many more rules and many more countries with different tax rules, but they all do the same at the moment. If you just hold all your Bitcoins at the capital longer than a year, 
you will minimize the amount of taxes you need to pay. Very simple. Just huddle your bitcoins. I huddle my bitcoins here. I huddle my bitcoins there. I huddle my bitcoins fucking everywhere. I don't have a future. I don't have a plan. But I do know I will never change the fiat again. Bam! The next news item is of course about Donald Trump. Donald Trump was now permanently deleted from Twitter. That is not like very democratic. This feels to me a little bit like censorship. That's why I love Bitcoin. Censorship resistant. Now, Twitter is censoring the voice of a very influential and important person in the world, Donald Trump. Yes, maybe we don't agree with what he has to say. But that doesn't mean we need to censor him, in my opinion. It does mean that we need to educate all the people that are on Twitter do not just believe everything is true that you read on Twitter. Why would you censor somebody for sharing his knowledge, his opinion, his vision? Not everybody has the same mindset or vision or opinion. So yes, I can understand that people, you know, say things that might offend you or that you might support, then just don't read them. But I don't agree that social media is censoring people like this. I don't agree that YouTube is censoring Bitcoin videos now and then. They didn't do it for a very long time because they now understand Bitcoin is not a scam. But he started in the beginning of 2020 with censoring a lot of Bitcoin channels. And now luckily YouTube saw, okay, we need to, you know, update the algorithm. We don't need to delete all those Bitcoin videos. But Twitter did delete Donald Trump's Twitter because they are afraid that Donald Trump will post stuff that will create a revolution of the United States people, or something like this. It is not Donald Trump that is doing the revolution, it is the people that follow him that do the revolution, that run into the capital and all that stuff. I am not saying I'm a Trump supporter or whatever supporter, I'm just not even a United States guy, I can't even decide on this, but I am a freedom guy and I think freedom of speech is very important and I don't think that we need to you know, have these social medias turning into censorship media. So I hope that Twitter, um, you know, will realize what they really did at the moment. This is censorship and this shouldn't be the goal of social media, in my opinion. But who am I? I'm a guy dressed up in Prime XBT, free hoodie, free hat, walking, barefooted here like on my flip-flops. <laughs> flip-flops <laughs> in the garden somewhere in Lagos, Portugal. Don't take everything for granted that I say because I'm just a normal guy like you that wants to support the huge revolution of Bitcoin and blockchain. And that is all that I want to achieve also with the huge Bitcoin family. We will come to that a little bit later because there is one more item I want to talk about in this news part. Yep, DJI getting dog again. Bro, there's one more part and that is that now all these rappers are seeing Bitcoin as well and they are all stepping into the Bitcoin world. The newest rapper, rap artist, how do you say it? rapper? Rap artist? Rap artist. The R is so difficult for a Dutch guy. The rap artist, the newest one that is now going for Bitcoin is called Meek Mill. I think I pronounced that right. Meek Mill just said to all his 10 million followers, you need to start to buy cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is the future. So the rappers of the future, they don't want to walk around again with this dollar sign in gold. They will be walking around with the B in gold in the future because Meek Mill is not the only rapper. We also, of course, have Megan T. Stallion, you know, the sexy one uh, singing about dirty, wet, AP. <laughs> I can't say it loud. I think I think it's uh, I would be offending a lot of women. Sorry for yesterday's or the day before video. I threw a gum on the floor. I didn't intend to throw the gum on the floor. I normally pick it up, but I was like, yeah, you know, you're so in the flow of videoing that I took the gum and put it on the floor. And um, my apologies to everybody that is supporting a healthy nature in Lagos. Uh, I will go back and pick it up, put it in my pocket throw it in the washing machine and then get my wife complaining to me again Didi you left the gum in your pocket now the whole uh, laundry is uh, screwed <laughs> uh, at least that is how it normally goes bitcoins or chewing gum in my pocket or a paper with notes in my pocket it always gets into the washing machine I don't know why I just forget to empty the pockets but we have Megan T Stallion we have Lil Pump Probably there will also be a Lil Dump somewhere in the world that is making rap songs. Then we have Lil Yachty. They all call you Lil. Why all Lil? Like little? Are they all like small? I don't know. 
Lil Pump, Lil Dump, Lil Yachty, and we have uh, Lil B, Nipsey Hussle, 50 Cent, Nas, and of course Aiken, all huge musicians that are stepping and believing in the world of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So thumbs up for the whole rapping scene, West Coast, East Coast, let's come together, let's fight the revolution, let's create a monetary revolution in all your songs that you will be publishing in 2021. Contact me if you need some lyrics about Bitcoin and blockchain and life and family, maybe I can help you. I got my Bitcoins here, I got my Bitcoins there. <laughs> <laughs> oh god this song which brings me to the end of the video guys talking about the family uh, we are doing really fine the bitcoin family ourselves the five of us hopefully you enjoyed yesterday's video of gokstein media again a really cool video and um, with a flashback to turkey because it's a beautiful country that's accepting bitcoin and using bitcoin as well um you know to protest a little bit to the u.s sanctions and all that stuff um Turkey is an amazing country. We had so many beautiful connections to people. The country is amazing. The hikes are amazing. This week, we will film a little bit more up to date. The last couple of weeks, it was really busy with the BAM indicator, the BFET, the family token, everything family over here and with Christmas, New Year. So we didn't film too much stuff like in Lagos, I'm going to pick it up again with the family. So the next episode of Gokstein Media will be an episode about this week again, you know, that you can enjoy the up-to-date life like we are living now with two, not too many flashbacks to all those beautiful moments in our whole Bitcoin traveling adventure. The huge Bitcoin family is growing tremendously. We have almost 2,000 members talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life in Discord every day, sharing knowledge, sharing passions, and we are growing tighter and tighter and closer and closer you need to say Didi as a family everybody is helping each other and I need to start to incentivize people again a little bit more to help each other and um, because it was too busy I forgot to incentivize you uh, every day I will be picking it up again sorry my lovely family members I will pick it up again and again the DJI maybe I need to film like this maybe then you can see me better ah this is really cool look you can see the blue sky and my nose hair if I have nose hair but <laughs> I will pick it up again, guys. Um, so I am very thankful for the mods, but I'm very thankful to all the family members for helping us build out this brand. And please, yes, we will launch the BFAT this Monday. And yes, you have read now the manual and everything, so you know exactly what we are building. The main goal, guys, is that we are going to use the Bitcoin family automated trading referral fees to start up a fund that we will use to give microloans to poor people all over the world. We are not going to take those profits and put them in our own pocket. We, as a huge Bitcoin family, including you, that is why we are building this huge Bitcoin family. Because we, as a huge Bitcoin family, want to help those people all over the world. And yes, that is why we are starting up this fund in 2021 to give microloans to all those people. And the BFAT, the BAM indicator, and many other things that we will launch in 2021 will be the accelerator behind this fund. We'll bring in the fees into this fund while you and I just keep doing what we do. We like to trade, we like to multiply our Bitcoin stash, we like to buy some swag, we like to do all that stuff, and now we will take those fees and create a fund out of it that we will use to help poor people all over the world, which we will again show in videos and show the world by leading by example that it's not only about accumulating wealth, but also about accumulating happiness. And this happiness you accumulate by giving not only by taking. Giving in life is more important than taking, but sometimes you need to take collectively to be giving collectively. And that is exactly what we are doing as the Bitcoin family. That was everything for today, guys. I want to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment because I love to respond to your comment. And always remember in the weekend to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that's exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you Monday again because tomorrow on Sunday, oh no shit, I still make videos on Sunday as well nowadays. Tomorrow on Sunday I will do again a live beach walk and talk in the morning. So hopefully see you tomorrow or Monday at the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bam!